I'll tell you, I saw an interesting question today. This is like an online thing, but it said, uh, where could you never work because you'd spend all your money that you made there buying from the place where you work? For instance, if you love donuts, you couldn't work at Krispy Kreme because you'd spend all your money on donuts. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I thought Chris Dim would say record store or whatever. Sure. You know, yeah, in back the in the day, I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd easily blow my money on CDs exactly. and records. Or if you love ice cream, you can't work in the ice cream factory because you'd buy all that. Although you guys know that I worked at a little mom-and-pop drugstore in high school, mm-hmm. and... Part of my job was when I wasn't delivering prescriptions or cleaning up uh, or taking the uh, the older man home to his house where he, he would come on to us. Correct. Was, uh, <laughs> that is a little kind of throwaway. Yeah. There's uh, a rite of passage. Uh, that, yeah. uh, you can not- see all the records I have in here. <laughs> It was a different time. It was a very different time, and <laughs> yeah. no one batted an eye when Ralph tried to pick you up. I mean, mm-hmm. Ralph tried. I mean, it was really like, uh, why are you ignoring me, yeah. Ralph? I've been, I've worked here six months. What's yeah. going on? Don't I get hit on? <laughs> Chris Tim was hit on by I Ralph. I hit on. I rebuffed. He rebuffed. Yeah. He said, no, that's it. But, but, I but, seem to have forgotten my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ralph's a little. Oh, that's Ralph. He's oh, he's harmless. Oh, he's harmless. Yes. He's harmless. This old Ralph. He's harmless. He's just fine. He's the first man I ever saw up close with a toupee. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bless his heart. Part. I never could spot a toupee. I didn't know. I had I was a, sixteen, and you could tell. I had a Spanish teacher that had the worst toupee you'd ever see, and I didn't even realize. Somebody said, "You know, that's a tupe." <laughs> and I mean, and I was like, "What are you talking about?" He's like, it's a look, rug. "Look at his hair; it's a rug. It didn't even match the sides of his head. It looked awful." Yeah. And after it was pointed out, I was just like, I would stare at it, and he'd say, "Señor, señor, why?" And, uh, and I was staring at his toupee. I just oh. could not get it out of my. It was a. Oh, <laughs> Cristobal! Oh. oh, his hair. La paleta, Cristobal. Some are better than others. Oh, yes. Focus. Some are better Focus. than others. Yes, that's right. But you got your fill of candy. Is yeah, that right? you know, yeah. The, when I would work the candy counter after six p to close, mm-hmm. um, I would work at the front desk and sell cigarettes, porn, and candy. Mm-hmm. And they would, you know, Doctor Sm- uh, Doctor Jones. Yeah, Dr. Jones would say, you know, take what you want. Yeah. And after about two weeks, like, I can't eat any more candy. Can't eat anymore. Yeah. Right. So you, yeah, that's right. And I was literally a kid in a candy store. But the record store. That and you couldn't, you know, Ralph was over there tongue in the fruit. <laughs> Long, hard candy. That's true. Mm. <laughs> the candy canes. Want to see a trick? <laughs> no. No, thank you. Good boy. Turned you off. Yeah. Turned yeah. him off of the candy. I, I just yeah. can't eat another butter. Yeah. Yeah. You just couldn't do it. Mm, watching him over there just in and out with it. <laughs> Huh. That's why to this day he can't go to a Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Man won't go to a Cracker Barrel. He won't step inside. You get those long candy. Too much yeah. hard candy. Forget the, it. The foot long Tootsie Roll. The, Forget the, about it. The, <laughs> Mr. Goodbar. I mean, the, all those things. He wasn't sugar daddy. Yeah. He ain't no sugar daddy. Forget about it. He that. wanted to be a sugar it's daddy. Called Ralph. That was his, that was his name behind the scenes. Sugar daddy. Now, uh, I, this was offensive to me. We'll have. To, I, I'm going to take BB Shea to task over this. Chris Dim, uh, he's coming in later, of course, during garbage time. B.B. Shea for his rap, which I always like. Yeah. But Chris Dim revealed to me that B.B. Shea, and this uh, dawned on me because we were talking about the record store there. Uh, he asked Chris Dim, what's your best 10 albums of all time? What are your favorite 10 albums of all time? And Chris Dim said, what are you doing? Some kind of research or something? And B.B. Shea said, no, I'm, I'm just sick of all the stuff that I've heard, and I'm sick of the new music. And I want some great music. So he went to Chris Dim and said, what are your 10 favorite albums? And the reason I'm offended is he hadn't said word one to me. And I've got, you know, <laughs> albums I could tell him. You, I wanted to. I got that. Off the top of your head, what would you think? Well, Thriller. I'm a Thriller fan, you know. Yeah. Uh, Not many of those people have heard of that. Okay. The new one from Miley. The, my, the new Miley Cyrus. The, the old Miley Cyrus. The old Miley Cyrus. <laughs> All of Taylor Swift. Anything Swift's. by, uh, what's Ta- her name? T- Olivia. Olivia Rodrigo. I celebrate her entire body of work. I'm, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the, uh, exactly. the 80s artist, though, that not Tiffany, the other one? You've cried too Debbie many Gibson. Debbie Gibson. Debbie, Debbie Gibson. Gibson. You got to put her on there. <laughs> and no Tiffany. Lies. And yes, I have cried at night to both of those. <laughs> Done other things to them too. Yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I have. Why is the poster on your ceiling? <laughs> okay, that's right. I, and I would tell BB Show that, but he didn't bother to ask. Mm-hmm. And I thought we were having had such a connection. But I like that. that we he, do in other ways. I think so too. Yeah, you we, got a you got a little baseball connection. We do. That's we, that's kind of sweet. We and talk cute. sports. We do talk that kind of thing. That's mm-hmm. right. But it's nice that Chris Dim is offering. I was happy. I, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I didn't know what what he was doing, yep. but I'd happily mm-hmm. help him. And you know, if there weren't so many restrictions on 
mm-hmm. music on online be a, an interesting little podcast. I know it's unfortunate you can't do that. You know, it's uh, you can't play recorded music yeah. without paying. You talk about thieves. it. That's it. That's all you can do. And that really stinks. You know, mm-hmm. it's too bad. That you know, he, he would he'd give me a record he likes that I'd never heard of. Yeah. Right, you'd have young young yeah. guy music versus uh, seasoned music, yeah. and then you trade them Old back. man, take a look at my life. Mm-hmm. Trade them ah. back and forth. Here it is, Dave. Uh, we talked about, and I know you're interested in this. I am too. There's a new player in the new Wheel of Fortune host game. I think I caught a glimpse of this. Okay, okay. Yeah. It was Ryan Seacrest. We said, okay, it's going to be. I don't see that happening personally. I don't either. I did. I could. Well, I saw. I mean, it. he could do it. Yeah, he could. I'm do not it. thinking. I don't think he could. I think it's a waste of his skills and I think time. He's too busy. <laughs> oh yeah, you think he's happier doing the other stuff? Uh, he's got way more skills. Mm. Well, he does, but he could. Fall. Well, so does Drew Carey. You know, and Drew Carey just uh, yeah fell into the Price is Right job, cashing a check for 15 years, and yeah, continues. Yeah. You know, the uh, new Wheel of Fortune uh, host that's getting a lot of buzz is Mario Lopez, according to sources. Mario Lopez is being considered for one simple reason. There is a large and growing Latino audience for all of American television and including Wheel of Fortune. Well, he's been on TV since he was yeah. a kid. Yeah, and he's done a good job. He was on what? Uh, one of the Access Hollywood or something mm-hmm. like yeah. that. Yeah, I think he'd be a good fit. Yeah, that's a good fit. And, and good age. He's probably 50 mm-hmm. and can do it 20 yeah. years. You know? I don't care for the man personally. Oh, that's oh, right. You got to run in. That's but, right. You uh, had a run in with him. In I mean, he's great at what his, his job is. I can't judge him on that. I you know, had a personal run in with him in a bathroom <laughs> at a speedway. If you don't know, <laughs> it's not as seedy not as it, it sounds, sounds like. like. That's, it's not like Ralph in <laughs> the drugstore, yeah. okay? This is Mario Lopez at a NASCAR Speedway and Biggie in the bathroom. They were together. Mm-hmm. And what was the exchange? Well, he was taking a dump. Okay. And he was on his cell phone in there. Yep. And everybody else, including all the pit guys, were all lined up waiting. That's right. And he was taking up a stall too long. Mm-hmm. They're kind of like, come on, yep. come on. But he's on his phone in there. Didn't That's Lopez right. also have a security team with him, Biggie? Well, he had a handler, uh huh, or at least an assistant, okay. who was standing by the sink mm-hmm. and just standing there in the corner, kind of cowering. Yep. And when Mario finally came out, he turned on the water for Mario <laughs> yep. and got it just right. Yep. And Mario comes out and he takes, washes his hands and he takes some of the water, puts it on his hair, uh-huh. and uh, looks in the the mirror and he's like well at least they gave me this hat and he snatches the hat from the guy and puts it on his head that <laughs> wow, says, really yeah and yeah. then i go out and i look and there he is he's the official you know starter yeah mm. so mario will not touch the faucet in a bathroom at a speed <laughs> somebody else has to turn not in on the, the pits at a, at a, yeah. a speedway they put the soap apparently in his hands. yeah they squirt mm-hmm. soap in his hands and get the towels yeah. they, they dry the towel <laughs> golly that's yeah, and he made him wait inside this tiny bathroom he made the guy wait Inside, yeah. while everyone else is just lined up, like, what are you doing? Yeah, and Mario would not mm-hmm. even, he wouldn't get the water warm himself. He no. Had to, somebody else but had to But the pit guys it. were getting upset because, you know, they have work to do. Mm-hmm. And there's one stall being taken up by some guy on his cell phone. And they do, that, they do yeah. that every week. I mean, it, you know, you don't always say, driver, start your engines. Maybe he was nervous. Maybe like Chris Kelly, mm-hmm. Mario Lopez has a sensitive gut. I, I've taken many nerve dumps, as you know. Sure, you yeah. have a nervous stomach. Remember, mm-hmm. remember when we played basketball against the Globetrotter knockoffs? <laughs> God, <laughs> right in the bucket of confetti, Dave. I, I, yeah, I, no, that's a, uh, we're still talking about it. It was not yeah, clearly yeah. Mario was not clearly Mario. We're still talking about it at the rec center. In my defense, it was not clear. We were not invited back. <laughs> so, I think the, the team disbanded. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, that was yeah, the Globetrotters took a year off. God. <laughs> that poor little girl. They weren't the Harlem Globetrotters. No, they were not. They were awful. They were the... No. They couldn't make yeah, but the shots. promise of being a Globetrotter yeah, was gone. So, well, it, yeah. they couldn't shoot. No, they were not. They shot about 48% from three. <laughs> they hadn't Man. seen any of the globe <laughs> no they had not they were, they were the of, eerie pa something yeah and it wasn't quite the same but anyway i still had nervous stomach because we were playing against them we were in the front team, of people in front of a lot of people hey man somebody asked in the bucket again <laughs> god that was really unfortunate there is speaking of which and this is getting a lot of traction now uh ufc boss dana white for charity says that he's got two major celebrities dead serious about fighting each other UFC style. And the two celebrities are Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk. And he says, now this is Dana White. At one point each, the richest man, well, maybe not in in the world, but I think they have been. They They each have been. Traded that. I think Elon currently is. I don't think, was Zuck ever number one in the world? When Facebook first sold, I thought he was was briefly. Okay. Dana White says this is a serious thing. I was talking to both Elon and uh, Mark last night. Both guys are absolutely dead serious about this. Mark Zuckerberg hit me up first and said, is he serious? And I said, I don't know. Let me ask him. 
I asked him, and he said, yeah, I'm dead serious. This would be the biggest fight ever in the history of the world. They're talking about... <laughs> no hype. <laughs> they're talking about putting on a pay-per-view for $100. Mark Zuckerberg, founder of Facebook, versus Elon Musk, Tesla man. Both guys are... According to him, absolutely willing to do it, and it'll raise money for charity. Bigger than anything that's ever been done. It would break all pay-per-view records. These guys would raise hundreds of millions of dollars for charity. Everybody would want to see it. The, the biggest fight of all time was Floyd Mayweather and Connor. I, I just think it... I think it triples that. They're going to go past it on UFC pay-per-view. Did this start with, like, an online beef? I don't know how it got started. It started something... But yeah, it did. It started on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And uh, basically, I think Elon made a joke about body slamming him, and, and Zuckerberg went back and was like, time and place. Well, Zuckerberg, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's also trying to, he's coming up with, I think it's called um, Thread. Mm -hmm. It's going to be like a Twitter, it's going to counter Twitter. Oh, it is. Oh, a Facebook version? A yeah. Facebook uh, meta version of yeah. Twitter. Yeah. And I think uh, they've been... They've had beef back and forth about this, mm -hmm. uh, about you know, this is a cheaper version. And, and this I don't is... know about Elon, but I know Zuckerberg is a Taekwondo black belt. Yeah, or... he is. Yeah, like beyond. Yeah, he's, he's... He's, he, he can fight. Yeah. So the money's on Zuckerberg. Then. Yes. I, I know nothing else about Elon. Now, uh, he's not of this world. Are you interested? <laughs> You're so, US... I'd buy it in a minute. Oh, big. Big. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Would, I, I would watch that. Oh, yeah. Because I think it'd be, well. I, I would watch $100? So, so yeah, this, $100. Is like, this is clearly the end of civilization. So, so you want to see. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, when we're just watching billionaires, billionaires fight, 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 yeah. fight each other. <laughs> and we're watching these two twat wads hit each other. <laughs> and frankly, that's what they both are. Twat wads? Yeah. So when we're watching this go down, uh, I want to be witness to it. Uh, yeah, I am intrigued by this oh no it's garbage i i am i don't know i am intrigued by this twat wad garbage <laughs> that's how they'll build yeah. it twat wad one yeah. and they'll play it like i want to be a part i want to see the end I, and this is it i do too i want to see that when i heard about it i heard about it about a week ago and i thought well that's not real and now mm -hmm. that he's saying it if it really is real i'd be like I, I'm, I'm interested despite the incredible hype from dana white do you mm. do, what's the chances this actually happened they step into a ring 50, 50? I, that's what I was going to say, 50% chance. I was putting it lower. I was thinking like 25. Will, will one yeah. of them come to their senses and go, we're not going to? Yeah, we're not. Yeah. Well, well I think something. Elon, because, I mean, Zuckerberg really is, like, mm -hmm. trained. He, but, he just was in a tournament for Taekwondo. But I'm saying, not Elon saying, I don't want to get beat up, but one of them thinking, I don't want an image of me fighting against another billionaire, you know. Or will they say, well, it's for charity and it's fun and let's do it. I, th I think the first. I don't think it'll... I and it think, is for yeah. charity. Yeah. That's what he said. I mean, that's yeah, but what... If they, if, they, if they keep playing up the charity angle, then it, it raises the specter of these two just, you know, patty-caking each other. I think Biggie wants to see blood. Oh, I do, too. I <laughs> yeah. want to see a real fight. That's what happened when... Uh, they used to that celebrity boxing. We remember very well when Barry Williams fought <laughs> Danny, Bonadu forget? Danny Bonaducci. <laughs> Well, it's because Two titans of seventies television. They fought, and I mean, I watched that, but now you didn't have to pay anything for it. That was just on That's Fox. The thing. Yeah, yeah, that was the whole thing there. But Barry Williams said, I mean, he got injured in that, and the the yeah. the, the, the thing about it was, uh, he said he was injured, and he he I don't think he expected it to be as a, a fight as real like as it was. As real, it was it, as yeah, it against was. Bonaducci. And later, yeah, I'm injured. Uh, I my shoulder's hurting, and um, and I have a concussion. You know, not only was Danny Bonaducci a better fighter, he went in there to fight, and mm -hmm. Barry oh, Williams is very gonna, much so. going to play patty cake and got injured after the whole thing. I would I would watch. I would if. But it, do you want it boxing or do you want it MMA style? I don't care. I probably yeah. MMA. I think they're MMA, right? Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's, that's, I just want to see them just go that's at it. going to get yeah. the younger yeah. set. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, fine. I, I, I really believe that it would be. Do, would it be the biggest thing ever, like Dana White just said? It might. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Good coverage.